Well, I was hoping to bring you some marvellous views of the North Yorkshire Moors. It's quite sunny in Teesside. We're in near a place called Castleton and it's a thing that goes to some old kill mines. Just out for a walk with the wife, as always, looking to uh, see if I can find any wild camping spots. There's plenty up here you can come to. But uh, I'll just show you that I'll just show you what I'm seeing. Well, I can't turn you around at the minute for some reason. So I'll switch it off and show you. Because I'm on my phone and not my, uh, not my camera. Uh, so we're recording now. The phone keeps switching itself off. Uh, that's all we can see. And we're high up. I was hoping to get you some shots down into the down into the valley this is an old railway line that we're walking on here that uh, runs all the way to a place called Ingleby Incline and it was when the old mines were here and it used to run the full length of it I think at the time it was one of the longest industrial railway lines in the country so yeah so we're not going to see much unfortunately and I don't think we're going to get a break in this. It was horrendous driving up here. Yeah, so it wasn't uh, it wasn't the best drive. Literally crawling along, couldn't even see a hand in front of you on the uh, sort of the windscreen of the car. So uh, never mind. I was hoping it was going to be nice up here. I could have showed you some nice things, but. So is, so is life. At least I'm not showing you stuff to buy. <laughs> so right, I'll switch this off and if we do manage to see anything, I'll bring you back. Certainly wouldn't be without water up here. There's loads of it everywhere. It was quite clear as well. Bring your siphon, you'll be all right. Plenty of grouse as well up here. I can eat them cooking away, just can't see too much in the, in the mist. So... Uh, there's Ollie, what, just keeps pulling back to go back to the car, I think he's a bit cold. So we've walked about a mile and a half or so, so we're just going to head back to the car now. So it's just a shame we can't see anything, because normally there's some beautiful views up, up here over the valley. Uh, so not to worry, but uh, I've seen a few places where you can pitch a tent anyway. Mike wasn't on, was it? <laughs> As you say, there's just two grouse there. I'll put a little bit of music over that. We're almost back to the road now. There you go, important uh, red listed species. Will that win visit the area? Yeah, Holly's always on his, always on his lead. When we're crossing the moors. Yes, there we go. That's where we were walking along. The Esk Valley Walk. A moor to see. Public right away. It looks like a new one. A new post, this one. And the road is just up there. There you go. That one's got a dolphin on it. And the other one's got a whale, looks like. Don't know if there's whales along here. Oh. Just checking the road. You can't really see much. There you go. And there's a board over here. To give you a bit of information. The Rosedale Railway. 
this area of windswept I let you read it life at Blakey Junction the iron stone man and that was it track taken up in 1929 Little remains of Blakey's prominent role in the ironstone industry, except for the meandering track bed of the Rosedale Railway, an echo into the landscape from the Victorian industrial age. And obviously the railway workers. Oh, look at that, severe winter of 1915 to 1916. Saw so the line block for nearly five weeks, hitting wages hard. <laughs> Built across rugged terrain in the 1860s. Yeah, so that's where we are. And we've just crossed the road and walked along this path here. Some pictures. I imagine that's in the snow when they got blocked off. So. Right, yeah, so you've got a car parking area there, and we've parked over here, and uh, the Lion Inn, I think it's called the Lion Inn Pub, or I don't think it's called the Red Lion Inn, I think it's called just the Lion Inn, uh, it's about a mile and a half that way, so uh, I've got a private group. Private place on my car now. If anybody didn't know, my name's Mick Frank. Look, all he's waiting to get in the car. Do you want me filming? Gone and freezing. Show you my place. There you go, MF and Mick. Marvellous. As you can see, it's quite misty. Well, it's not misty, we're actually in the cloud. So, uh, yeah, all my lights are on, fog lights front and rear, the main lights, not main beam, obviously. So, yeah, there you go. I know you're not going to be able to hear me, but I've just stopped along the way a little bit because the cloud was starting to clear. Get the brakes, so I'm trying to get you some, some views. It's reading one degree on the car's thing, uh, so and that with that wind, the views even better on a clear day. See that cloud blown over, marvellous. Oh. Don't want to get put off the edge of there, do I? Well, that's us from Blakey Ridge. Oh, there's a mic on. Yeah, the mic's on. From Blakey Ridge, just a little, that was about a two and a half mile walk along that track just to see what it was like. But obviously, we can't see anything as you can see from behind me. So, anyway, if you liked it, give us a like. Uh, think about subscribing if you don't already do so it's free of charge costs you nothing you listen to me, get listen to me waffling on right we're gonna go because my hand is literally dropping off because i left my gloves in the car right until next time love you lords catch you on the next one Mwah! it doesn't go black <laughs>